Chapter 1 About Myself Hello friends, I want to tell you about myself. My name is I am a boy, girl. I am years old. I study in class. I have brother, brothers and Sister, sisters. My home address is. The name of my school is. My class teacher is. My favorite TV program is. My favorite game is. Chapter 2 Growing Older When we are born, we are babies. As babies, we can't talk, walk, stand or even sit up by ourselves. We drink milk and sleep most of the time. But every birthday, we are older by one year. We grow into children. When we are 13 years old, we become teenagers. At 21, we become adults. As we grow older, we change in some ways, but some things remain the same. Our body becomes taller and weighs more. Our hands and feet get bigger, but the color of our eyes remains the same. The color of our hair remains the same till we start growing old. Now, we can learn to talk, hold things, stand eat on our own and do many other things. After many years, we will be fully grown up. Then, we will be adults like our parents. After many more years pass, we will grow old. Then we will be like our grandpa and grandma. Plants change as they grow. A seed grows into a baby plant. A baby plant grows into a plant. Animals also change as they grow. A chick grows into a hen. A puppy grows into a dog. Quick revision. When we are born, we are babies and grow into children. After many years, we will be adults like our parents. After many more years, we become old. Chapter 3 Our Body This is my body. It has many parts. I can see some parts of my body. They are called external body parts. I cannot see some parts of my body. They are called internal body parts. External Parts of Body Let us read about the external parts of the body. Head The head is the topmost part of our body. It is very hard. It holds our ears, eyes, nose, mouth and tongue. Neck The neck joins the head to the rest of our body. It enables us to move our head in different directions. Chest The chest is the front part of our body. Upper limbs We have two upper limbs called hands. Hands enable us to write, hold, pick up, make and throw things. Lower limbs We have two lower limbs called legs. Legs enable us to walk, run, jump and stand. Sense Organs Our sense organs tell us about the surroundings. We have five sense organs. 
eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Eyes We see things with our eyes. The eyes need light to see. We cannot see much around us when it is dark. Ears We hear sounds with our ears. The shape of our ears help in catching sounds from the air. We cannot move our ears but some animals like dogs, rabbits and elephants can move their ears. Nose We smell things with our nose. When a cold blocks our nose up, air cannot enter the nose and we cannot smell things. Tongue We taste things with our tongue. It also helps us to speak and sing. The tongue has many tiny taste buds which tell us about the sweet or bitter things we eat. Skin We feel things whether hot or cold, rough or smooth with our skin. Our whole body is covered with skin. The skin protects our body from the outside world. Internal parts of body There are bones inside the body which give the body its shape. They are held together by muscles which help us to do work. Touch your wrist and press it. Can you feel your bones? Write what you feel. Inside the body, covered by the bones, there are some very special organs which work all the time to keep us going. The most important of these are the brain, heart, lungs, stomach, liver and kidneys. Brain Head is the most important part of the body. Inside the head is a brain. It helps us to think and learn. It also controls all our body parts. Heart Heart is inside the chest. It beats like a drum. It pumps blood to all parts of the body. Lungs Lungs are also inside the chest. They help us to breathe. Stomach Below the chest is the stomach. It looks like a bag. The food we eat goes into the stomach. Quick Revision Our body has many parts. The eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are our five sense organs. The brain helps us to think and remember. The heart pumps blood to different parts of the body. The lungs help us in breathing. Chapter 4 Our Neighbors Parents and their children make a family. We all have families. We live in a house with our parents. Many families live near our house. The people living in these families are our neighbors. The houses and families living near our house make up our neighborhood. People living in a neighborhood know each other very well. The children in a neighborhood are friends. They play together. Sometimes they go on a picnic or visit a fair together. In cities and towns, people of different religions live together as neighbors. They speak different languages. They follow different cultures and customs. Still, they celebrate festivals and have parties together. They invite each other to their homes on all special occasions. Our neighbors help us when we are in need. We also help our neighbors when they need our help. We work together for the welfare of our neighborhood. A good neighbor is really a blessing. Quick Revision People living in the families around our house are our neighbors. 
the houses and families living near our house make up a neighborhood. A good neighbor is really a blessing. Chapter 5 Our Food We need food to live. Food gives us energy to work. It helps our body to grow. It also keeps us healthy and fit. We get food from plants and animals. Food can be divided into three groups. Energy giving food Foods like potato, rice, bread and sugar give us energy. They are called energy giving foods. They also help our body to stay warm. Body building food Milk, cheese, fish, eggs, pulses and meat help in building our body muscles. They are called bodybuilding foods. They also help us to grow. Protective food Fruits, vegetables and nuts protect us from diseases. They are called protective food. Water Water is very important for us. It helps to remove waste from the body. Water also carries food around the body. It is important to drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day. Balanced Diet We should eat a good amount of each kind of food every day. This is called a balanced diet. Children who do not eat a balanced diet may fall sick. Cooked and uncooked food We need to cook vegetables, rice, pulses and meat before eating. Cooking makes the food soft, tender and tasty. It is easier to digest cooked food. But some foods can be eaten raw. Vegetarians and Non-Vegetarians People who do not eat meat, fish and eggs are called vegetarians. People who eat meat, fish and eggs are called non-vegetarians. Non-vegetarians also eat rice, bread, pulses, fruits and vegetables. Good Eating Habits We should follow good eating habits. These habits keep us healthy. Given below are some good eating habits. Wash your hands before and after every meal. Eat slowly and chew the food well. Do not speak or laugh while eating. Do not watch television while eating. Enjoy your meal. Do not drink water while eating. Do not eat uncovered food. Take as much food as you can eat. Avoid wastage of food. Every food grain is important for us. Use a toothpick to remove the food stuck in your mouth. Wash fruits and vegetables properly before eating or cooking them. Quick Revision We cannot live without food. There are Three main kinds of food Energy giving food, bodybuilding food, and protective food. We should follow good eating habits to keep ourselves healthy. Chapter 6 Our Clothes Long, long ago, people did not know how to make clothes. They covered their body with animal skin and plant leaves. Much later, people learned to make clothes. We now wear different kinds of clothes to cover our body. Clothes protect us from rain, heat, cold and insect bites. We wear clothes according to our needs. It could be according to the weather, occasion or the work we do. In summer, we wear cotton clothes. They keep us cool. Cotton clothes are made of cotton. We get cotton from cotton plants. In winter, 
we wear woolen clothes. They keep us warm. Woolen clothes are made of wool. We get wool from sheep. In the rainy season, we wear raincoats and use umbrellas to protect ourselves from the rain. We also wear gum boots. They protect our feet from getting wet. People wear colorful clothes on special occasions like weddings and birthday parties. They wear new clothes on festivals. Some people have to wear a special set of clothes for their jobs. These clothes are called uniforms. Nurse, policeman, doctor, air hostess, pilot. People in different parts of India wear different kinds of clothes. Rajasthan, West Bengal, Kerala, Kashmir, Maharashtra, Punjab. Dressing manners. Here are a few dressing manners which we should follow. Always wear clean and well ironed clothes. Do not touch clothes with dirty hands. Always go to school in the uniform. Process of making clothes. Quick revision. We wear clothes to cover our body. We wear cotton clothes in summer. We wear woolen clothes in winter. We wear raincoats and use umbrellas in the rainy season. Chapter 7 Our Dream House A house protects us from heat, cold and rain. People build houses according to the weather and building materials found in the area. Types of Houses some houses are made of wood, mud, bamboos and leaves. They are called kacha houses. Kacha houses are not very strong and are temporary. They are found mainly in villages. Huts are the examples of kacha houses. Some houses are made of stones, cement, bricks, steel and wood. They are called Pakka houses. Pakka houses are very strong and permanent. Pakka houses are mainly found in cities and towns. Bungalows and multi storied buildings are the examples of Pakka houses. A bungalow is a very big house. It has many rooms and a big garden. A multi-storied building has many small houses called flats. Some people live in special types of houses. Many people in Kashmir live in houseboats. A houseboat floats on water. It has all the facilities that a house on the land has. People like scouts and soldiers live in tents. A tent is made from thick canvas. It can be easily folded. People in very cold areas live in igloos. An igloo is a house of snow. The Eskimos live in igloos. Many people like Banjaras and Gypsies live in movable houses called caravans. A caravan is a house on wheels. An ideal house. An ideal house is that which is sunny and airy. Sunlight and fresh air are good for health. An ideal house has many rooms in it. We should always keep our houses neat and clean. We should grow more and more trees around our houses because Trees keep the air around us clean and fresh. We entertain our guests in the drawing room. We sleep in the bedroom. We cook food in the kitchen. 
We take bath in the bathroom. We take our meals in the dining room. We study in the study room. People who help us to build our house. An architect makes a drawing of the house. A mason lays bricks with cement. A carpenter makes doors, windows and furniture. An electrician fixes electric points. A plumber fixes taps and pipes. A painter whitewashes walls and paint doors and windows. Quick revision. Kacha houses are made of bamboos, mud and straw. Pakka houses are made of cement, bricks, steel and wood. An ideal house is that which is airy and sunny. Chapter 8 Time to Celebrate Festivals are the days of fun and enjoyment. People celebrate many festivals in our country. We can group these festivals into religious festivals, harvest festivals, national festivals. Religious festivals Festivals related to gods or goddesses are called religious festivals. Let us find out more about some religious festivals. The Shehra The Shehra is an important festival of the Hindus. It is celebrated to mark the victory of Lord Rama over the demon King Ravana. Ram Leela is held at night for 9 days. On the 10th day, effigies of Ravana, Kumbhakarna and Meghnada are burned in a big ground where fairs are organized. The Shara is also known as Vijaya Dashmi. The Shara is celebrated as Durga Puja in West Bengal. Diwali Diwali is also an important festival of the Hindus. It comes 20 days after the Shara. Diwali marks the return of Lord Rama to Ayodhya after 14 years in exile. On this day, people decorate their houses and shops. People exchange greetings and sweets. They worship Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi at night. Diwali is known as the Festival of Lights. Idul Fitr Idul Fitr is an important festival of the Muslims. It comes just after the holy month of Ramzan. Muslims keep fast during the month of Ramzan. On the day of Idul Fitr, Muslims wear new clothes and offer namaz in the mosques. They greet each other saying Eid Mubarak. A special sweet dish called Sevaya is prepared on this day. Christmas Christmas is enjoyed on the 25th of December every year. It is the birthday of Jesus Christ. Christians decorate their houses with Christmas tree and go to the church for prayers. They exchange greetings saying Merry Christmas. Children wait for Santa Claus. Santa Claus brings gifts for them. Holy Holi is called the Festival of Colors. It is generally celebrated in the month of March. It celebrates the burning of Holika. Holika wanted to burn her noble and God-loving nephew Prahlad. However, Prahlad was saved but Holika got burned in the fire. She was punished for her evil deeds. On this day, People apply gulal on the faces of each other. They also spray colors. They sing and dance. Guru Parva Guru Parva is celebrated by the Sikhs to mark the birthdays of their 10 gurus. Sikhs decorate their houses and gurudwaras. They listen to the Gurbani from their holy book Guru Granth Sahib. Big processions are also taken out on Guru Parvs. They eat in a common kitchen called Langar. Harvest Festivals Cutting and gathering of food crops is called harvesting. 
people celebrate these events as festivals. Therefore, these festivals are called harvest festivals. Pongal Pongal is the harvest festival of Tamil Nadu. It is celebrated for three days in the month of January. The first day of the festival is called Bhog Pongal. It is celebrated in the honor of the rain god. The second day is called Surya Pongal. It is celebrated in honor of the sun god. The third day is called Mattu Pongal. The cow is worshipped on this day. A special dish called Pongal rice is prepared from newly harvested rice and jaggery. Onam Onam is the most important harvest festival of Kerala. It is celebrated for four days in the month of August or September. People believe that every year their great king Mahabali visits his kingdom during these days. Onam is celebrated to honor his return. Big processions on elephants are taken out. People sing and dance. The most exciting part of this festival is the snake boat race. Young men row the long sleek boats covered with red umbrellas. National festivals National festivals are celebrated by all the citizens of the country to show the respect for the country. National festivals stand for our national unity and integrity. Independence Day We celebrate Independence Day on 15th August every year. India gained independence from the British rule on this day in 1947. The main function of the Independence Day is held in Delhi. The Prime Minister of India hosts the national flag and the red fort and addresses the nation. In schools, the chief guest hosts the national flag on this day. We sing the national anthem Jan Gan Man. Gandhi Jayanti We celebrate Gandhi Jayanti on 2nd October every year. On this day, in 1869, Mahatma Gandhi was born at Porbandar in Gujarat. We garland his portrait. He was a great leader. We lovingly call him Bapu. He is also known as the father of the nation. The main function of Gandhi Jayanti is held at Rajkhat, the Samadhi of Gandhiji in New Delhi. Several important leaders and a large number of people gather there to pay homage to this great leader. Republic Day Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January. It was on this day in 1950 that India became a republic. It means our country got a constitution. On this day, the President of India takes salute from our soldiers. Children from various schools perform dances in colorful dresses. Brave children are honored and awarded. The main function is held at Rajpath in New Delhi. Quick Revision Festivals related to gods or goddesses are called religious festivals. Pongal and Onam are harvest festivals. The Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti are our national festivals. Chapter 9 Plants are friends We can see plants around us. They are of different shapes and sizes. We can group them into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Very big and strong plants are called trees. A tree has a thick woody stem called the trunk. Trees live for many years. Banyan, Mango, Coconut Shrubs are smaller than trees. They have thin but strong stems. They also live for many years. Rose, cotton plant, hibiscus. Herbs are very small plants. They have soft and weak stems. 
they live for a few weeks or for a few months. Grass, mint, wheat. Climbers are plants with weak stems. They cannot stand straight. They need some support to grow straight. Money plant, grape wine, pea plant. Creepers have weak stems and thin branches. They grow along the ground. Gourd, pumpkin, watermelon. Parts of a plant. A plant has many parts. Each part is important for the plant. Look at these parts in the picture. Flowers, leaves, roots, stem, roots. Things we get from plants. Plants are very useful to us. They give us a lot of things. Let's see what we get from plants. Food. We get food grains from plants. Food grains are the seeds of plants. Rice. Wheat. We get vegetables from plants. We eat different parts of different plants as vegetables. Roots as vegetables. Carrot, turnip, radish and beetroot. Stems as vegetables, potato and ginger. Leaves as vegetables, coriander, spinach and cabbage. Flowers as vegetables, cauliflower and broccoli. We get fruits from plants, mangoes, apples. We get spices from plants. Spices make our food tasty. Garlic, ginger, coriander, cloves. We get edible oil from plants. We crush the seeds of groundnut, coconut, mustard and sunflower to get oil. Other things we get from plants. We get perfumes from flowers like rose, jasmine, lavender. We get medicines from neem, tulsi and amla plants. We get cotton and jute from plants to make clothes. Paper is made from bamboo plants. Rubber is obtained from rubber tree. Gum is obtained from acacia, baboon plant. We also get wood from trees to make doors, windows and furniture. Save plants. Plants are very important for us. We cannot live without them. So, we must take care of plants. We should not cut down trees. We should grow more and more trees. Quick revision. There are different types of plants like trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Most of the food we eat come from plants. We also get paper, gum, rubber, medicines and wood from plants. Chapter 10 Animals Our Friends Like plants, animals are also our friends. You can see animals around your house, in the forest and in water. They live in different types of homes. They eat different kinds of food. Homes of Animals Animals that live with us are called domestic animals or pets. They live in man-made homes, dog in a kennel. Wild animals live in natural shelters like caves, dens or under the trees. Birds live on trees and build nests to lay eggs. Sparrow, tailor bird, woodpecker. A rabbit lives in a burrow. Animals like rats and snakes live in holes. 
Some animals like fish, whale and turtle live in water. Some animals like frogs and tortoises live both on land and in water. Food for animals Animals have different eating habits. Some animals eat only plants or plant products. They are called plant eating animals or herbivores. Cow Zebra Some animals eat the flesh of other animals. They are called flesh eating animals or carnivores. Lion Snake Some animals eat both plants and flesh. They are called omnivores. Bear Crow Some animals eat the flesh of dead animals. They are called scavengers. Jackal Vulture Things we get from animals Food Animals like cows, goats and buffaloes give us milk. Milk is used to make curd, butter, ghee, paneer, cheese and ice cream. Hens, geese and ducks give us eggs. Some animals like goat, chicken and fish give us meat. Other things we get from animals. We get wool from sheep. Wool is used to make woolen clothes. We get silk from silk worms. It is also used to make silk clothes. We also use some animals like horses, oxen and elephants for carrying loads. Honey bees give us honey. We also get wax from beehives. Quick Revision Domestic animals are kept at homes or in farms. Some animals eat plants, some eat flesh, while some other animals eat both plants and flesh. Animals give us milk, eggs, wool, meat and silk. Chapter 11 Air Air is everywhere. We cannot see air, but we can feel air when it moves. Moving air is called wind. Gently moving wind is called breeze. When wind blows very fast, it is called a storm. Uses of air We need air to breathe. We cannot live without air. Animals and plants also need air to breathe. Wind helps boats to sail on water. We can blow air into things using a bicycle pump. Wind helps clothes to dry faster. Air is needed to burn things. Need for clean and fresh air. Smoke and dust make air dirty. If we breathe in dirty air, we may fall sick. Green plants make the air fresh and cool. We must grow more plants. We must breathe in clean and fresh air. Quick Revision Moving air is called wind. All living things need air to breathe. Air is needed for burning. Chapter 12 Water All living things need water. There can be no life without water. We use water every day in many ways. We use water for Drinking Bathing Cooking Cleaning Putting out fire Watering plants Plants need water for growth. They absorb it from the soil through their roots. Animals need water for drinking and bathing. Animals drinking water. Water also acts as a home for many animals. Can you tell the names of a few animals which live in water? Write them here. 
Where does water come from? We get water from different sources. The main source of water is rain. In the plains, rainwater collects in rivers, lakes and ponds. Rivers flow down into seas and oceans. Seas and oceans are huge water bodies. But we cannot use seawater for drinking because it is salty in taste. Some rainwater also seeps into the ground. We call it underground water. People draw underground water through hand pumps, tube wells and wells. In the mountains, we get water from streams and springs. Drinking water We cannot drink water from a pond, lake or river. It contains germs. Germs can make us sick. We should always drink clean water. We can get clean water by boiling it for 15 to 20 minutes. Boiling kills all the germs present in water. In towns and cities, we drink tap water. This water is purified in water purification plants before it comes to our homes. Water is very important for good health. We should always drink fresh and clean water. Save water People in many areas do not get enough water. They bring water from far away places. So, water is very precious. We should never waste it. We must store water in clean vessels as shown in the picture. We should keep the vessels covered. Let us see what we can do to save water. Do's Water the plants with water left after washing vegetables and fruits. The leftover water in water bottles can be used for watering plants. Collect rain water. It can be used for different purposes. Don'ts Do not leave the tap running while brushing teeth, bathing or washing clothes. Do not have a shower bath. Use a bucket and a mug. Do not use a hose pipe to water plants. Quick Revision There can be no life without water. Rain is the main source of water. We should always drink clean water. We should never waste water. Chapter 13 Weather and Seasons Our earth has a layer of air around it. It is called the atmosphere. The condition of air around the earth is called weather. The weather does not remain the same every day. It changes from day to day. When the air is warm, the weather is hot. Similarly, when the air is cool, the weather is cold. Different kinds of weather A hot day Weather is mostly hot in summer. The sun shines brightly. Its rays fall directly overhead. We feel thirsty and drink cold water many times a day. We wear cotton clothes. They keep us cool. They also absorb sweat. We use fans, coolers and air conditioners on a hot day. Some people go to hill stations when the days are hot. A cold day. Weather is mostly cold in winters. The rays of the sun do not fall directly overhead. We like to drink hot tea and coffee. We wear woolen clothes. They keep our body warm. We use blankets and quilts at night. Sometimes it snows in hilly areas on a very cold day. People go there to see the snowfall. A cloudy day. The weather in rainy season is usually cloudy. We see dark clouds in the sky. They block the sunlight. So, it is not very warm on a cloudy day. However, 
A cloudy day in winter is very cold. A rainy day. The weather is wet on a rainy day. There are clouds in the sky. We wear raincoats and use umbrellas on a rainy day. They protect us from rain. Children love to float paper boats. Sometimes we see a rainbow after it rains. A rainbow looks beautiful. It has seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Remember the word Vibgyur to learn the colors of a rainbow. A windy day. The weather may be warm or cool on a windy day. Strong winds blow on a windy day. When winds blow on a hot day, the weather becomes hot. When winds blow on a cold day, the weather becomes cold. Quick revision. The condition of air around the earth is called weather. We wear cotton clothes on a hot day. We wear woolen clothes on a cold day. We wear raincoats and use umbrellas on a rainy day. Chapter 14 Means of Transport We go from place to place using different means of transport. We use buses, motor cars, scooters, motorbikes, bicycles or cycle rickshaws to travel. Sometimes we also use trains and aeroplanes. We also use means of transport to carry goods from one place to another. Nowadays, we have various means of transport. They are divided into three modes. Land transport, water transport and air transport. Land transport Land transport includes animals and vehicles that move on the land. In villages, people use bullocks, horses, elephants, donkeys, camels and ponies as means of land transport. These animals carry people and goods from one place to another. These days, village people also use rickshaws, bicycles, scooters, motorcycles, cars and vans to go to different places. In cities and towns, the main means of land transport are bicycles, scooters, bikes, auto rickshaws, rickshaws, buses, cars, metro trains and trucks. Trains are also a means of land transport. They run on rail tracks. They are good for traveling long distances. They carry millions of people and goods to various parts of the country daily. Do you know? In cities like Kolkata, Delhi and Bengaluru, we have metro trains for local transport. Water transport Water transport includes vehicles that move on water. Boats, steamers and ships are means of water transport. Boats are used to travel short distances over water. Steamers are the boats that have engines. A ship carries passengers and goods to other countries of the world. It needs a good port for loading and unloading of goods. Air Transport Air transport includes vehicles which fly in the air. Aeroplanes and helicopters are the means of air transport. Aeroplanes are the fastest means of transport. They are very popular these days because they save our traveling time. Aeroplanes need a good airport to land and take off. Helicopters are used to travel short distances through air. Do you know? The aeroplane was invented by the Wright brothers. Quick revision 
we use means of transport to go from one place to another and for transporting goods the three means of transport are land transport water transport and air transport aeroplanes are the fastest means of transport chapter 15 means of communication the act of sending information news or message from one place to another is called communication in olden times people used drums horns and smoke signals to send messages later people began to send messages through special messengers or trained pigeons nowadays we have various means of communication let's see what means of communication these people are using letters letters include postcards inland letters aerograms and envelopes they are the most common means of communication we buy inland covers envelopes for letters from the post office after writing a letter we drop it into a red colored letter box the postman collects all the letters from the letter box and takes them to the local post office there are many postmen who sort out these letters and send them to their destinations by buses vans and aeroplanes when we want our letters to reach quickly we use the speed post service these services are a little costlier and are available at post offices we send urgent messages through telegrams we write our message in brief on a telegram a telegram reaches the addressee within a few hours telephone telephones are the quickest means of communication we can contact any of our relatives or friends within a few seconds on a telephone when we call someone living in another city within our country using the telephone we make an std subscriber trunk dialing call when we call someone outside the country it is an isd international subscriber dialing call nowadays people use mobile phones to make or receive calls computer computers are the latest means of communication we communicate with each other by email an email is sent from one computer to another it can reach a person within seconds radio a radio sends messages through air it sends messages to a large number of people at the same time a person who does not know how to read and write can also hear and understand the news on a radio television television is the most popular means of communication on a television we not only hear the news but also see the picture of the person reading out the news we can also watch live programs on television through cables newspapers newspapers are the cheapest means of communication they provide news in printed form to a large number of people quick revision the act of sending and receiving information is called communication telephone is the quickest means of communication television is the most popular means of communication computers are the latest means of communication chapter 16 safety rules we must always take care of our own and others safety most of the accidents occur due to our carelessness to avoid accidents we should always be careful and alert we must follow safety rules safety at home our home is a safe place to live in but there are many things which can be dangerous use sharp objects like knives scissors and blades with great care do not play with these objects 
do not touch electric switches or wires and electrical appliances with wet hands. We may get an electric shock. An electric shock can lead to death. Do not play with fire. Do not fly kites from the terrace. Do not watch TV too much. Do not wear polyester clothes in the kitchen. They catch fire very quickly. Do not take any medicine on your own. Always consult a doctor. Safety on the road There are thousands of vehicles on the roads. So, be careful on the road. Always walk on the footpath. When you want to cross the road, you should wait at the zebra crossing till the traffic stops. Cross the road only when the pedestrian light turns green. Where there is no zebra crossing, look to the left, then to the right and then to the left again, then cross the road. Never play on the road. Safety at school Do not throw chalks or dusters at others. Do not jump over benches or desks. Use school equipments with great care. Safety while traveling do not disturb the driver in a vehicle. Do not travel on the footboard. Do not get in or get off a moving bus. Stand in a queue while waiting for the bus. Safety in the playground. Always play safe games. Do not push or shove each other. Do not climb on trees. Play in a park or playground. Be fair in play. Wait for your turn. Safety in the swimming pool. Never go alone for swimming. Always use a swimming tube. Do not go deep in water. Do not swim after a meal. If you get hurt. If you get hurt, inform it to your elder or teacher. They will help you. If someone else gets hurt, take him or her to the doctor. The help given to an injured person before the arrival of the doctor is called first aid. A good first aid can save a life. You should keep the first aid box in your home for emergency. Quick Revision we must follow safety rules to prevent accidents. We should never play on the road. The help given to an injured person before the arrival of a doctor is called first aid. Chapter 17 Useful Places in Our Neighborhood There are many important places in our neighborhood. They all serve us in one way or the other. Let us know about some of them. Post Office Post Office is a very useful place in the neighborhood. You can buy postcards, inland letters, stamps, envelopes and aerograms from the post office. The postman delivers the letters. You can send money by money orders. You can also send urgent messages through telegrams. If you want to send a gift to a friend, you can send it in a parcel from the post office. The speed post facility at the post office can be used to send a letter quickly to someone far off. School A school is a place where we can learn to read and write. There are many teachers in a school. They teach us good manners and good habits. We should respect and obey our teachers. Market Every neighborhood has a market. Some neighborhoods have small markets while others have big markets. There are several shops in the market. We buy rice, wheat, sugar, pulses, soaps, bread, butter, vegetables, fruits, clothes, sweets, books, etc. from the market. We buy these things from different shops in the market. 
we need money to buy things from the market. Bank A bank is a place where we deposit our money. We can withdraw money from the bank whenever we need it. The bank pays interest on our deposits. Valuable articles and jewelry are also kept safe in a locker in the bank. Hospital A hospital is a place where sick and injured persons are treated. There are many doctors and nurses in a hospital. The doctors examine the patients and prescribe medicines for their treatment. The nurses look after the patients who are admitted in the hospital. Railway Station A railway station is a place where trains stop and depart regularly. People travel to long distances by trains. Do you know? The longest platform in the world is at Kharagpur in India. Police Station A police station is the main office of the local police. The policemen in the police station help us when we are in trouble. They also help to maintain law and order in the society. They catch thieves, pickpockets and other bad elements and put them in the jail. Traffic police control the traffic on the road and help us to move safely and easily on roads. Fire Station A fire station is a place where firemen work. When there is any fire in the neighborhood, firemen rush to the spot with fire tenders fitted with water hoses. They fight the fire bravely and put it out. They also save people caught in the fire. Quick Revision There are many important places in our neighborhood. We send a letter through the post office. The school is the most important place for children where they can learn to read and write. A bank is a place where we deposit our money. A police station is the main office of the local police. A fire station is a place where firemen work.